Hi friends, if you work with the Unity engine, it will be a great tutorial for you. In this video, I'm going to show you something interesting that I found online. A few years ago, I wanted to load HTML inside Unity, but at that time, I couldn't find anything useful. There were some paid assets on the Unity Asset Store, but to be honest, I didn't try them. And now I wanted to do something similar with Unity, and I found this great repo here, created by this guy. He did a great plugin and it is free. So we can load HTML inside Unity for free without having to pay anything extra. And that technically means that we can create an Android app using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and etc. I'm not saying that it is the best way to create an Android app, there are a lot of technologies that are better than this way. But if you have experience with Unity and these web technologies, or maybe you want to load HTML inside your Android game, why not using it? So let's see how we can import the plugin and change it to suit our needs. We've got to download or clone the repo and unzip it. So we have to add it as a new project. Just select this folder here called Sample. Maybe your currently installed Unity version is not compatible with the version that the guy was working with, so you might need to install the right one or just pick it if you have already installed it on your machine. And I'm going to start it. When you load it, you will get this error here. To resolve the error, we have to import the plugin. Just search for it in the dist folder and run it. The method works great on Android, so we have to switch the platform. It doesn't work on PC, so we have to run it on an Android phone or emulator. And we can build it to see the change that the guy has already added. And after that, we can tweak it and make it suitable for our needs. So I'm going to transfer it to my phone and install it and run it. And here it is. So let's try to tweak it a little bit. The script that we need to work on is this simple web view script. And here it is. So let's change the margin here. I want my HTML file to be loaded full screen on my phone. And also, I'm going to comment the buttons that the guy added. Here is the field that we can use to change the loaded script through the inspector. The site can be stored here locally, but we can also use external links. And we can load external websites inside our Android app or game. But we've got to make sure that we choose a website with an SSL certificate, otherwise it won't work. And let's try to tweak the HTML files to work locally. I'm going to put some text and see whether it works. And let's build it again and try it out on my phone. And here it is. The changes that I added are here. And we can change the style by typing CSS here in this document, but also we can load an external CSS file. And also I'm going to show you how we can transfer data between Unity and the HTML file. We can do it by using a JavaScript function. So we can call this function from our c script. And that way, we can exchange data sent as an import argument in the function. 
maybe trigger different things and change something on the app depending on our needs. So let's do it and see how it works. And here it is, the heading text is changed by the function that we wrote and it works without any problem. We can do a lot of interesting things using this knowledge. I want to say thanks to the guy that created and shared with us this beautiful plugin. And this is something that I like about Unity. People help each other. They're willing to share knowledge. They're friendly, which is great. Unity has a great community. Um, I don't know, people are calm and everything is great. So that was everything that I have, guys. Hope that it, you found it interesting and useful. Thank you and bye-bye.